What's up my graffiti dudes? Hope you guys are doing good. We got a great video deck that I'm very happy to bring to you guys today. We're gonna be taking a look at some of these other colors in the Spring Fever ink because I got a lot of great feedback from you guys. In fact, we should probably look at some of your comments on the last video. Got some suggestions, got some mild criticisms, got some heavy criticisms. You know, I got everything from the highs, the lows, the creamy middles, everything, in it, everything, the full spectrum. But bottom line is y'all wanna see the black, y'all wanna see the white uh, because People want to see the blacks and the whites, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and maybe some of the other colors too. So let's go ahead and start filling some bottles, take a look at these colors non-mixed as they are, and uh, we'll have a video. See you in All a right. sec. Sick. Let's go ahead and fill up a mop. I'm going to do a big squeeze for the black today just to have a little bit of fun. I know you guys like to see different types of mops and stuff, and you know, oftentimes I'm a big uh, a big user of the of the mini drip mop, and, and you know, for good reason too. It's an excellent mop. I love the mini drip mop. Uh, but you know, we got to give people a little bit of variety, so let's go ahead and drop some in this bad boy. And for those who don't know, the big squeeze is very much like, uh, how do you say, like a shoe polish mop. You know what I'm saying? We do use a better quality nib, uh, although these nibs are still on the soft side. So if you're concerned about it, uh, you could also put, put a little bit of t-shirt over this and wrap a rubber band around it to give you a little bit of longer life, if you will. Um, some people like to write like that. I prefer to go bareback myself. So I just rock the nib as is. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and pour some ink in this bad boy. And again, uh, oh, look at that. What's up, poor guys? Hope you're doing good out there. Let's go ahead and fill this bad boy up. And I don't care about making messes. That's that's kind of part of my style here. You know what I mean? I'm like, woo, whoa, excuse me, guys, whoa. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> I mean, what do you do when you're doing graffiti? You're making a mess of the city. Look at you kids. Bunch of kids out there writing their nicknames all big. All right, sick. All right, so we got this bad boy ready. I think you know what time it is, homie. It's time for the nib, guys. Oof. Wow. Look at that. Oh, that is beautiful. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get cracked. All right, sick. Let's go ahead and give it a quick try real quick. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Ooh, nice and drippy. Very thick. Nice black ink, very good to go. So, as you can see, we didn't feature it last time because I knew it worked great, but you all want to see it. You know, we got to give the people what they want. You know what I mean? They want to see it. You know, show me. And I totally respect that. So I'm going to show you. And again, this is the big squeeze. These are best suited for rough surfaces. As I'm hitting this tag. <laughs> These are best suited for surfaces that are not rough. <laughs> It's backwards day today, I guess. Anyways, uh, as you can see, you can get some very nice rights with it. It's a lot of fun. <clears throat> all right, so that's cool and all, but what about the white? What about the flamingo? What about the blue? What about the orange? And what about the slime green? Actually, I think we call this poison green. You know, tomato, tomato, potato, potato. <laughs> it's, all, it's all the same thing, right? So let's go ahead and check out the white first. Nip guys, how you guys doing over here? Uh, let's see here. Do this quick little seven here. I like to do these while I set up. Uh, let's see, let's hit up Kato. We had a lot of fun making that video with him. We definitely should get more people to come hit this dumpster because this dumpster is uh, far more famous than I am. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> let's hit up the homie Phil. Shout out to Phil. Big ups to Phil. There we go. All right, so as you can see, the white gives you really nice drips. And I'm literally just sitting on my butt over here doing this, so I hope you guys don't mind. <laughs> Let's check out the orange. Orange, you happy I brought this out. Now, as you can see, the color is very vibrant. You can get some really nice color out of that bad boy. Uh, I think you guys will really enjoy it. I would call this a puro, puro orange, naranja. There we go. That's for my customers in Southern California. So as you can see, yellow, I'm sorry, orange, and the white do quite well for themselves. Let's move on down the line here. Let's try out the pink here. Now I think we call this flamingo, uh, but I'm just gonna call it pink for the sake of the video. As you can see, it's, it is like a flamingo pink, if you will. Very nice color. I think you guys will enjoy using it. Let's do a little GR here real quick. You know, I'm not big on these dusty pinks, but you know, there's definitely an audience for them. 
and if you really like a dusty pink this will definitely rock for you i will say for a pink it's pretty opaque uh the orange does have some streaking in it just so you guys know uh but it's holding up pretty good you know like i said about the or the, the molotov i'm sorry the flame 600 oranges have the kind of the same issue they just tend to streak a little bit that's just the nature of the oranges but as far as coverage goes uh you're getting good coverage from that orange so shouldn't have any issues with that hopefully i'm getting that on the camera it's hard when you're doing this by yourself you feel me uh, anyways, the truck's about to come through. Oh wait, no, they're stopping, great, cool. Okay, let's move on to the next color. Uh, this is the slime green, uh, as we like to call toy's choice, but really it's king's choice. King's choice green. Let's hit up a little king tag here. How can you not love this green? It is so bright, it's so vibrant, uh, it's beautiful. It's not particularly streaky. You should have a very enjoyable time. I would call it almost like a, like a bright apple green, uh, slime green, poison green, whatever you want to call it. It's extremely bright. It'll definitely do the job. And obviously, uh, it puts a little smile on my face. I do enjoy using it. All right, let's check out one more color. All right, six. So I think we got the blue left here, right? Let's do a little nib dab for the nib guys. I actually like doing this. Give it a little bit of a squeeze and a little pow. Bow. It's like little bullet holes, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let, all right, let's go ahead and uh, check this bad boy out. So this is the blue. It's like the ultimate Dodger blue or like a Sureños blue, you know what I'm saying? It is like the perfect shade of blue. You can't go, you can't go wrong with this blue. It is the perfect shade. It's, when you look up blue in the dictionary, this is what you're gonna look at right here. And it just writes so nice. Let me give it a little extra squeeze here. Just because people like the drips. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So yes, it does drip very nice. And of course, all these colors will be fully compatible with the Steve Garvey ink. So if you want to make some mixes with the perp, you can definitely do that. Although I would avoid trying to do it with colors like orange or green. It'll just turn out to be brown, like a weird brown color. So you want to use like the white or the blue or the pink or some of those other colors to get the really nice color combos. I mean, hey, if you like brown, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with brown. We made a brown mix the other day on Instagram and people really loved it. So anyways, that's the blue. Uh, definitely puts a smile on my face too. Great color. Excellent. All right, so I guess that's pretty much it. Did we just make a video? That's amazing. All right, so you guys saw all the colors of this SF ink. Uh, we showed it with a couple different mops, and uh, yeah, I think we pretty much covered it. So why don't we go to the closeout? I'll look at some of your comments on the previous video, the SF Ink video, and I'll respond to them, and it will have a video. Awesome. All right, sick. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of your comments. Uh, this is from my most previous video. My most previous video. <laughs> my recent video uh, about the SF inks. So this was part one of these videos. And the, the pinned comment is from Method7. He said, I was kind of bummed that Doo Doo Brown didn't make an appearance in this video. And then he said, edit 1357. Looks like I was wrong. Yeah, I put it in there. I don't know if we tagged with it, but we, we talked about it a little bit. You know, we could we could feature it as its own thing in a future video if you guys liked. It was kind of an Instagram thing, but... I, <laughs> It was my most viewed story on Instagram, and I get so many people asking about it. So maybe we should just make a doo-doo brown video. I don't know. I, I, that's where we're at in the world today. Uh, another comment was R.I.P. A.P.S.F. Yes, R.I.P. indeed. R.I.P. S.F. in general. Um, <laughs> it was such a dope city in the 1990s. Uh, anyways, uh, let's move on. So let's see. We got uh, Uncle Buck 416 He says, I do not do graffiti. But I've been watching nine to ten years now. Appreciate you, GR. Damn, bro. <laughs> I appreciate that. I really do. Pick up a pencil. Uh, okay, the next comment is from Darth Darthy Rex. He says, honestly, we just want some more GR content. Show off more of your products. I personally would love to see more tutorials. Yeah, you know, I could do more tutorials. I <sighs> I'm not really sure how I feel about tutorials anymore because it seems like pretty much everything you want to learn is already on the internet. So am I already kind of just like rehashing old stuff? But I, but I guess I'm doing that when I'm doing product reviews. Maybe people just want to see my take on it. I don't know. It's kind of a tough one for me. I did make a point to stop doing them, but we can bring some of it back, I guess. Sure, why not? There's always someone new, right? There's always someone new, GR, remember? That's right. Okay. <laughs> 
Uh, this is from DRabbit2319. He says, GR, a quick tip from a tattoo artist who's been shaking these bottles for years. Make it a habit to put your index finger... <laughs> Ah, I'm so dumb. Of course. And I've done that before with other bottles. I, you know, sometimes your brain just isn't working properly. Uh, he says, make sure, make sure to make a habit to put your index finger on top of the cap when shaking them. Sometimes when they're even closed, they could leak. Very good point, tattoo artist. I appreciate that. <laughs> For real, for real, uh, it says, someone says, for real, it's never a GR video without some messes. And you know what? I, I have to be honest with you guys. It is part of my shtick. I do like to make a mess in the videos. I do know how to pour properly, but it's just fun. You know what I mean? We want to have fun here and do stupid stuff. I know you at home would try to conserve as much ink as possible, but I just, I break stuff so you don't have to. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, Ghost9314 says, 15 minutes with GR feels like five, and I hate that. That's probably one of the nicest compliments I ever got, homie. I really appreciate that. Oh, you know, and I saw a dude on the street the other day. He looked like JJ from Good Times. He had the hat and everything. He was across the street. I was unloading some stuff in the shop. He's like, GR! And, you know, and I was having this really weird day where I was, like, thinking, like, oh, I don't know why, but I just feel like I'm going to get in a fight. <laughs> I don't know why. You ever have those days where I'm just like... I'm a fight a fool. <laughs> I don't want to, but I just may have to, you know? And so I hear this guy yelling my name. I'm like, oh, here it comes. <laughs> here it comes. And then I look over and he's like, hey, what's up? He's like, I love your videos, man. This is so sick. He's like, that's some G shit. And I was like, oh, I love humanity. You know, so there's, <laughs> I wake up a day feeling kind of nihilistic about the world and you know and, and, and I, I know that's hard for you guys to believe because some days I do wake up feeling kind of you know we're all human we got the highs the lows and the creamy middles I told you about that before I learned that from Homer Simpson you know life life is all of that it's like a roller coaster you know what I mean so you got you got to take the bad with the good uh, but I do strive to bring you the good in these videos you know what I'm saying so when I'm here I want to spend quality time with you guys but regardless just kind of giving you a little recap of where I'm at in my life. So at that moment, I was having a rough day. I didn't get any sleep, had all this stuff going on, and people were just driving me nuts. And then when that guy said that, it just, it changed my whole day. So whoever you are, JJ from Good Times, I appreciate you, man, because you just changed my whole day. I was in such a good mood after that. Oh, and the other reason why was somebody scampled my markers out of my marker kit. I was trying to make these videos, so I drove all the way to the shop, had my un unloaded all my stuff, and the stuff I needed from the video were not in the box because someone from the warehouse borrowed my markers. I love you. <laughs> we gotta keep it positive. Um, but you know, I, I guess the, what I'm saying is I'm getting to be like the old man with his toolbox. You know, if you take his screwdriver out and you don't put it back right away, you know, it's it's. I'm getting to be that way with my age. So. That's how it be. Roundabout. Uh, thank you very much, JJ. So, <laughs> well, I just really prattle on sometimes, don't I? All right, let's look at a couple more comments. Uh, let's see. George Barrera448 says, do more piecing videos. Those are sick. Yes, homie. Uh, we will be doing some piecing videos very soon. In fact, we may be doing some with the Flame 600s. We've barely scratched the surface with the 600s. We need to do more. What do you guys think? Comment below. Comment below. Uh, all right, up next is, is there any word on Dr. Guts being replaced ever with a new silver? Dr. Guts is still in, how do I say this? We're working on it. Uh, these things take a long time to get right. And even when you get it right, it's never right. And you have to go back to the drawing board again. And then you got to work with your suppliers. And it's not just one supplier. There's like five suppliers for all these different things, pigments, uh, the, the solvents, the, the resins, the, the bottles, the mop nibs. Like it's, it's all different people all over the place. And when we, we, when we compile it together, sometimes it, it's not, well, <laughs> It's not what they sent us when they sent us the samples. You know what I'm saying? So it's hard to find good help these days, especially in the warehouse. Uh, okay, let's see. Anthony Clark says, awesome, keep them coming. We'll keep them coming. Uh, let's see. Anchovies says, was I the only one that said he didn't write Grimace with the burp? And it was Grimace's birthday, right? I didn't even get that Grimace shake yet. Did you guys try it? Let me know what it's like. I, I haven't had it yet. Um, it's purple, so it kind of bugged me out. Although... You can get like a boba tea that's purple and that's pretty good. So is it a boba tea? Is it one of those uh, 
What is that? It's like a sweet potato or something like that? I don't know. My, my mind's not working. I just woke up, baby. I just woke up. Cut me some slack. Uh, okay, let's do a couple more comments and we'll close out. Uh, let's see. King Sum said, please do more ink mixing videos. Yes, I got a lot of comments about that, actually. In fact, uh, underneath your comment, you said different ink, different paint mixtures would be dope. And I think that's something that people really want to see. So we should do that. So thank you for the comment. I appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Let's let's kind of go down the list. I want to see if there's something really substantial here. Because, you know, there's a lot of people saying thank you or what's up. And, and I appreciate that. You know, there's also some negative comments, too. And I don't want to start reading that and realize I'm getting clowned on. Uh, let's see. This is a D's Nuts. D's Nuts. He says, even if there's always someone going to be writing Seven, I know GR inspired Seven where, I'm, where I am from. So someone writes Seven in his town. Um, the video, the videos are big influential. I appreciate that, man. You know, it's kind of interesting because a lot of people watch my videos when they're like junior high age, right? And they like, they kind of get their, 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 uh, basic foundation of how to do graffiti or just, just understanding of the markers and stuff. You know, I don't get too in depth with like the graffiti culture as much as some other people do, because I kind of want you to like find your local scene and figure it out. But I do talk about the, you know, the macro vision of it, I guess, not like here, this is what you got to do when you come to this town. But anyways, but it's funny because I've heard this from so many people. They watched my videos when they're younger, and then when they turn like 17, 18, they're know-it-alls, and they don't need to watch my videos, and then they talk shit about my videos. And then they come back when they're like 25, and they're like, oh, these videos are so fun. I love watching these videos. <laughs> it's like when you have a kid. <laughs> they love you, and then they hit like middle high school, and they hate your guts, and then they go out into the world and figure out what they need to do and, you know, learn their experiences. And then they come back when they're a little bit older and they're like, you know what, Uncle Dan, thank you for all your help because this is what I've done with my life. And then I find out they're like a tattoo artist or, you know, a muralist or graphic designer or whatever like that. And that's that's really rewarding, you know what I mean? Because that was something that I help inspire. And I'm talking thousands of people, thousands of people, which is really crazy. So, and it's a, it's a crazy thing to bear, you know, I'm like Sisyphus, like pushing the boulder up the hill, you know, and then the next day I got to push the boulder up the hill again, but he's a happy warrior, you know what I mean? And I got to maintain that happy warrior stance, you know, because there's a lot of crazy stuff in the world. We're living in crazy times right now, uh, but there's always going to be graffiti. There's always going to be people out there expressing themselves, putting their name on a wall saying, I'm alive. I'm here in this world. I am vital and real and raw. You know what I'm saying? And that's what graffiti is all about. So anyways, bottom line is go out and paint, have a good time. Uh, don't take it too seriously and check the egos because that's going to kill graffiti big time. So thank you very much, guys. I'll talk to you later. And uh, yeah, comment below. I may read you in the next video. Peace.